This isn't a video that I wanna make, but I have to make this video because I need to tell you to stop using the copyright free music that comes inside your favorite video editing app. And the reason I'm telling you to do this is because so many of you have been sending me DMs, you've been sending me emails, you've been leaving comments under my videos telling me that you've been getting copyright claims when you're using the royalty free music, the copyright free music that comes inside of particular video editing apps. Now in this video, I'm not going to name and shame any particular apps. I am reaching out to a couple of different companies right now to see what they have to say about this and to see, because I'm sure it's just a problem with the YouTube AI. I don't believe that they're actually maliciously trying to give you a copy copyright claim, so I'm waiting to hear back from some companies, but here's something that I want you to do. If you're an Android user, go to the Google Play Store. If you're an iPhone user or an iPad user, head over to the Apple Store, search for the app that you use and scroll down on the page, and you're gonna see either a link out to the developer's website, or you're gonna see an email that goes directly to the developer. And then send them an email and ask them, can I use your music in my YouTube videos? Also let them know if you're monetized, and ask them if you can use their music that they provide inside the app without risk of a copyright claim. And if you do get a copyright claim or a copyright strike, in most cases, it's gonna be a claim, who can you speak to there? Make sure that they let you know who it is that you need to speak to. Then give them some reasonable time to actually get back to you. Give them a week, give them two weeks if you need because I'm sure they're very busy and they have a lot going on. I usually fall behind on my emails myself. But if they never reply to you, consider using a different app. Now, I know some of you are probably freaking out right now, but I'm sharing this with you because I want you to protect yourself. I want you to have that contact with the app company so in case you do get a claim or heaven forbid you get a strike, you know who you can speak to there and they can handle it immediately. And if you don't know the difference between a claim or a strike, a copyright claim or a copyright strike, a copyright claim means any revenue that's made on your video, the person who claims that gets the revenue. If you get a copyright strike, that means that they do not want it on your video and it has to be removed. So what should you do? Where should you get your music? I recommend a couple of places to get your music and the best free place to get your music is the YouTube audio library. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description below to a video that I made talking about the YouTube audio library as well as some other sources you can get music. Go watch that video when this video is finished. I go in detail about how to use the YouTube audio library because there's a particular way you need to use it to make sure that you don't get claims over there because that can happen too if you use it incorrectly. And if you're an app company watching this and you're like, whoa, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. We're not doing that. Well, that's cool. I commend you. Please go down, leave a comment and let everybody know that your app is safe to use and drop an email down there and let them know who they can contact in the event that there's a mistake. We all know that there is an AI running YouTube and sometimes mistakes happen. And if that happens with the music in your app that you're saying that people can use, we wanna make sure that that gets resolved as quickly as possible. So if you're an app owner and you provide music, please go down and leave a comment, list the name of your company, put an email in there, let people know that it's safe to use and if there's a problem, they can email you and you'll handle it directly. And for all of you mobile creators who have not had any problems using music inside of the apps, and I'm talking about the music that the app companies actually provide, please go down, leave a comment and drop the name of the app. Let everybody know the apps that you don't have problems with. Now, this is something that I'm gonna keep an eye on. I'm reaching out to some of the companies myself. Hopefully I don't have to make a follow-up video, but make sure you are following me on Twitter. Make sure you're following me on Facebook. Make sure you're following me everywhere. You can possibly follow me. I'm gonna to link to everything down in the description below because I might make updates there. I might say something in a YouTube story or an Instagram story, or I might mention something over on Twitter. So make sure we connect there. And of course, I do wanna mention that these companies are not out to get you. This isn't some grand scheme where they're trying to take your monetization. At least none of the companies that I've had contact with or I communicate with on a regular basis. Uh, everybody's on the up and up. However, accidents do happen with the YouTube AI. Uh, things get mixed up and accidents do happen. So we want to make sure that you're covered and make sure you have direct communication with the apps that you're using. If you want to learn more tips and tricks on how you can become a better mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos including videos like this where I bring something to your attention because unfortunately this happens from time to time. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.